This is going to be a video on performing remaps on GameCube controllers. The first thing we want to do is just remove the rumble. This will allow us to place the board into a uh, board holder, which is absolutely useful when dealing with sensitive electronics like this. Okay, that's removed. I'm going to remove the rumble bracket and the rumble and we'll flip this over and put it in the board holder. We'll be right back. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out where these contacts go and verify. Now I've already verified that in this case we're going to be remapping uh, X and Z and this is the ground side of Z. What I do is I use my multimeter in continuity mode. If you don't know how to use your multimeter I suggest doing some research on that. There's plenty of resources available to learn how. Uh, look up continuity mode so we can assume that this other side here is going to be connected directly to the logic uh, IC on the GameCube controller. So we want to figure out where it goes. So I've got one probe connected to that top pad on the X button. And we're going to see which one it is here. It's probably on the bottom here. I'm looking for it. There we go. Okay. So it's this leg right here. So let's turn our attention to that. <coughs> So we're turning our attention to this third pin, the one that the continuity was verified. The first thing I want to do is I want to add some fresh flux. And this is Amtech. I'll have a link in the description if you want to know which one I'm using. I'm going to add flux here. <coughs> Here's the soldering iron tip I'm using. It's a curved tip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce some fresh solder to this area. This is likely leaded solder. So what I want to do is I want to heat the pin and the pad at the same time, introduce some fresh solder. Okay. Now once I've got that in place, let me show you my secret weapon. And that's this needle that has a bent tip. And I just bent it myself using a set of flat pliers. And what I want to do is I want to kind of come in and put my needle right behind this leg. And now I'm going to come in and heat and lift. I'm going to let go, let go. I'm going to come in again. See if I can get in a little deeper this time. I'm just being gentle. Try coming at a different angle here. This can be a little difficult. We're almost there. Let's look at that close up to see what we've got. I'm going to turn my brightness down. See that? We got the leg lifted up. The pads are fine.
And then what you can do, if you want, you can just... Just bending that pad, sorry, that leg up so it's out of the way. Okay, so we got our X lifted. We're going to do the same thing for the Z. So let's locate that now. Okay, so we found our target. It's going to be this sixth pin, sixth pin here. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be this one right here. We're going to do the same thing. Apply a little bit of flux. Going to clean our iron tip. We're going to come in to this sixth pin. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to add some fresh flux. I mean, uh, fresh solder. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <clears throat> Same deal as before. Get this better angle that I think was a little more successful last time. Always stop to double check your work and just take your time. And if you feel like it's not working, uh, just take your iron off, let it cool, and try again. <clears throat> Let's come in a little close and we'll see how we did. It's not bad. Now, if you've never done soldering before, you'll probably destroy this your first try, I'm just being honest. Um, this is not a beginner's project, absolutely. Okay, what do you think? <clears throat> so now here's the fun part. It's wiring this up. And the philosophy is quite simple. I'm gonna add more flux down here and over here where we lifted this other leg. I have this wire and it's enameled 0 0.1 millimeter wire. Here's what it looks like. It's thin, 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 thin. <coughs> I'm gonna cut a bit of that and before I even try to solder that in I'm going to tin the pad that's connected to the board itself. Okay, so we got a little bit of extra solder on there. That looks nice. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire. I'm going to hold it with my tweezers just above this spot right here. And I'm just going to hold my iron down across. Um, I shouldn't bridge anything. Gonna hold it there for a second. Now I'm gonna come in and press down with my tweezers right at the base. That's solid. Okay. We want to do the same thing right over here. 
with our other <coughs> wire. Okay, let me turn my light up. Let me cut one more strip of wire. I apologize for the lack of editing in this video. I don't like to hear myself talk. I just don't like editing. And I want to show you every detail. Okay, so now I'm going to take my piece of wire. I'm going to hold it over. And I'm using a curved tip. I actually find it a lot easier to work with. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to press down on the base. Okay. Now at this point, and this is always a good philosophy to have, is you want to use 97 or 95% higher alcohol. I have 99%. I think you can only get it online. I'm going to clean around. I'm just going to kind of pad this down over here. You want to clean up whenever you're working. Be careful not to rub up against that pin. <clears throat> so we have a nice and clean work area. My iron temperature is at around 367. Celsius right now. I'm using a Hako FX888D. Now before we move on to the next step, we just want to make sure that none of these pins are bridging. So I'm just going to check the ones next to it. I'm going to put one end of my probe here and the other one here. And no beep. No beep. And then Make sure it's not connected up here. Shouldn't be. Check the same thing over here. Just make sure we don't have any shorts before moving on. Because now would be the time to fix them if we do. No beep. And no beep, meaning no short. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to focus on wiring up our wires. And this is, the idea is simpler than the execution. If we wanted to, we could probably wrap this wire, it's so thin, maybe we could wrap it around that pin. Just like so. Whoops. Just grab that other piece. Okay. What do you think? <clears throat> I'm going to apply a little bit of flux. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to come in with my iron and touch the top of that pin. Introduce some solder. Okay. Hold it. Three, two, one, release. That's it this remap is done I can go ahead and just wiggle this wire this wire is enameled so in the places where it has not had contact with my iron it won't be conductive so I don't have to worry about any of this causing a short now you just don't want to wiggle it back and forth a bunch because otherwise you'll well you'll end up with a broken wire and you have to redo this so I'm just gonna gently wipe up around it and let's do the same thing on the other one and this job will be done very carefully then this wire back let's see if we can wrap it around So 
hook it on there. Pull it tight. That's not going anywhere. Just a tiny bit of flux. Won't take much. Hold it for three, two, one. Release. <clears throat> then I can just gently wiggle this off. Not pulling hard, I'm just going back and forth. I mean, then this wire's delicate, but that's it just comes with it being so thin, okay? Is this the prettiest looking remap? Probably not, but is it the simplest and most elegant? I think so. No scraping traces, although I have done remaps that way. But if someone just wants a remap, no, no other oddities, just a straight remap, this is the, this is the way. Okay. Now let's check one more time for any shorts. And we can just mask it off. These two are not shorting out. These two are not shorting out. These two are not shorting out. These two aren't shorting out. These two aren't shorting out. And make sure these aren't shorting out. Good. <coughs> okay, that's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the, dis uh, the comments. You can see the Discord group if you want to hop on and ask any questions there as well. All right, take care.